good to know I can, no matter if you're high on the mountain, he's God. If you're down in the valley, he's God. If you're halfway up the mountain, he's God. He never changes. He said, I am God and I never change. I change not.
I mean, it, it's been on many a night, many a night, and there was a world of sleep, and I was on my knees.
I believe that he was having a conversation with them in some manner. What it was, I have no one idea, and I'll never know unless if I get to heaven, God gives me what to tell me. But anyway, as they, let's go and I'm going to read and I'm going to come back to this. And the Lord said unto Satan, and whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job? Have you considered? Now we'll get into that here just a little bit. Then Satan answered the Lord and said, do Job fear God for naught? Has not that made a hedge about him and about his house and about all that he hath on every side? Thou hast blessed the works of his hand, and his substance is increasing in the land. Increasing the land. But put forth thy hand now and touch all that he hath, and he will curse thee. To thy face. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, all that he hath is in thy power, or is in thy ability to work. Whatever you want to do, you can do it. Only upon himself put not forth thy hand. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. Now what I want to what I want to try to get over to you tonight, and you know, sometimes we think about Satan working, and whenever we begin to think about how that Satan works, we think of it in a big way. We think of you know of whenever that uh, that we we hear on the radio or on the news, we watch the TV, and uh, and all of a sudden somebody is blown up by school, or uh, or a, a train going down the uh, subway or something and killed four or five hundred people, right then there's flashes in our mind. That was an act of Satan. That was something big. We're always looking for something big out of Satan. Whenever Satan can come in and work in a fury-like form in your mind and in the place where he needs to work rather than out in the world where he's already got everything going the way that he wants it to go. Now let's go back to that first verse whenever I read it. Now there was a day when the, when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord and Satan came also with them. Now these were the slaves of angels. In other words, these were the angels of God and they had come to a gathering. Now who showed up at the big gathering? What does the Bible say? And Satan came also. And Satan came also. You know, I begin to think about the how that uh, that our church here, and we, we've got a nice nice church here, and, and, and everybody seems to want to get along with everybody with no fussing and carrying on all the time. And, but I begin to I begin to think how that Satan don't want that to happen. Amen. He would rather see anything happen than everybody to get along. For everybody to say, well, you know, I love my brother or I love my sister. And then to get along with them. But Satan don't want that. Amen. He wants to come in in a little mischievous way. And somehow that he can get to you in some way to tear you down. Now I begin, I begin to see, look back over this church. And I begin to see the people that has come to this church. And I begin to think of this phone call I get every week. Uh, and they say, Brother Walzer, uh, you know, we're coming to your church. We're coming and we have a call. We're going to come to your church. Uh, we want to come down there and we're going to worship with you. You know, we came in, uh, and we worshiped with you. We felt the Spirit of the Lord. Uh, and my goodness, I'm telling you, I'm coming back if I have to crawl to get there. I get these calls. I get all kinds of calls. But I get these calls. And they say, whatever you do, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be there. And I begin to think about, about how that Satan, how that he will present himself so many times. It's not so much out in the world that he wants to present himself, but he wants to present himself where the people of God is. 
Amen. He don't want to get out among the world, Amen. but he wants to come in, Mike. Or that me and you is trying to do something for the Lord, or where the sister Tana or somebody has spoke to somebody about the Lord and to try to get them to church. And the people that come to church every once in a while, they get their blessing, and then they will take that blessing and run it out and dun it down until they get ready to take need another blessing, and then they come coming back in. Why? Because Satan has put something with inside of their mind uh, and he has took them uh, on a trip uh, right in the church not out there in the world but he came into the church over some little silly something that does not mean nothing uh, and he'll come in and he'll plant it in their mind and they'll go out the door and I'm not never going back again Come on, people. Somebody say amen. 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 It's the way Satan works. He works inside the church. Yes. He don't have to go out here. He's got the world. We already know that. But the people that want to live for God, he's going to be working on you. He's going to be trying to pull you down. He's going to be trying to take you out. He's going to put some little yes. thing in your mind that will cause you to turn your face from God. Because that's his, his job. And I don't like to give the devil credit for anything. But he's good at what he does. Yes. Amen. Amen. See, right with the God himself and the holy angels, Satan comes walking in. Satan comes walking in. I would say if there's any way we can see the demonic spirits of God, the devil and all the things that we can see with our natural eye, I'd probably say there's probably three or four sitting on the front bench. Probably four or five sitting on the back bench. They're probably sitting there thinking, you know what? And one of them's probably saying, well, you know what? If I could get Brother Jamie to listen to me, you know what I'd do? I'd put something in his mind, and I'd make him think, well, you know, don't nobody like you at that church. Everybody, you know, he gets up there and sings, and, and you know, I, I don't know, I, people say, he was not, he was like, so the devil say, somebody, would, I'll get somebody to say, Brother Jamie, that song you sung tonight, I just didn't really like that. And then that other little demon would come up to Brother James and tell him, hey, did you do that? Right. Somebody didn't like your song. Right. And it's not long until Satan is doing his work. He's presenting himself in the congregation of God's people. Right. Yeah. See, whenever Satan came, he came before the Lord. He came before God and he presented himself. Right. See, he's going to do that in the church. We have got to get sharp. We have got to get our minds to the place that Satan cannot come in and do his work in God's church the way that he wants to work. We have got to get to the place that we can look and discern the spirits of the devil and then discern the spirits of God and know the difference between the two. Yep. Then we can tell the devil to get back and stand back and do not get in the way of God's work. Right. Right. Now see, old Joe just happened to be the one. Oh, Job just happened to be the one. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes, he was. Tomorrow it might be Shannon. That's right. The next day, it might be Shirley. The next day, it might be Mike. Everything. Happened to be there, Mike. There was old Job. Had everything, God had blessed him, God had put a hedge around him. Satan knew it. Satan knew it. You know, there may be somebody in this building right now that, is, that Satan is with before the Lord said, let me test him. Said, so you take your hand away from him, and you know what he'll do? He'll curse you to your face. Amen. He's not going to live for you. He's not going to go there and do that out by the bar, by the, by the tavern. He's not going to go to that old boy that's sitting in there drinking the beer and cussing and carrying on. He's not going to go to him and say, God, you let me have him. Uh-uh. He's, He's already got it. Right. You don't have to worry about that. But I'll tell you what he can do. Sister Martha, if he gets a chance, he'll say, listen, let me ask Sister Martha. Let me put it on her. I'll guarantee you, she will, if I do, she'll curse you to your face if you take her hand from her. He didn't go out to the bar and then he comes to the church. Pentecostal church in Freeloney, Kentucky. Amen. Oh, look out. He came to the church in Freeloney, Kentucky. He walks in and sits down. Like I said, if we could see him, we could probably see four or five of little buddies sitting right here. Amen. 
People don't think he's just looking for something to do. They're not going to go out in the world and do it. They're going to try to pull somebody that's a believer in Christ down Amen. and smooth and put their soul in hell if there's any way possible. And that's why they're working. I begin to see how it's worked through this church. And I tonight, if everybody that had been coming to this church in the last year was sitting in this church tonight, this church would be completely full. But you know why it's not completely full? I'm going to tell you why. Because the devil has presented himself before the children of God. And here we are, sitting in this church tonight, and people that are going outside this church with some kind of little silly remark that somebody has said or something, and they have took the devil, has took it, and he's drove them out into the world. Yes. Yeah. I can sit right here, and I can start naming them. And I guarantee you, I can sit here right now and name 30, stand right here and name 30 people right now within the last year that the devil has done exactly what I'm talking about and drove them outside of the church. Why? Because the devil got into their ears. He got into them and he got into their mind. And he, it's like he said, he said, you just take your hand back, Lord, and I'll take care of you. Then we know, we can go on and we know what, what Satan done to, to Job. You want to read the, read the rest of the scripture and you'll find out what Job went through. Well, we're not Job. Nobody here tonight, I don't guess, I don't guess anybody here to tell you what Job went through. And probably won't. Let's look at it. Did nobody in here will go through what Job went through? But think about it. But Satan presented his hat before the world. That's right. He didn't go out in the world. He didn't even ask where God was. He went right where he worked. <coughs> <coughs> where are we at? Think about it. Where are we sitting tonight? This is the house of the Lord. Amen. This is the house of the Lord. Amen. We built this to be the house of the Lord. We built this to be the place where people could come and worship God. This is a place where we come in reverence to God to worship Him and to give Him praise and to give Him honor. Where did you think that that was going to show up? He's not going to show up up here at some other store, at the dollar store, but He's going to show up right here in the midst of us. And He's going to try to work His work right here in the church. I was talking to some people this week. And the lame excuses Amen. that they give for not coming to this church. Yeah. So silly. You know what's wrong? You know what he done? He took their mind off eternity. Yeah. Satan does his work. What did he do to Job? He took everything that he had. Everything. He took it all. Amen. If he takes you out of the church, if he takes you out of the church and puts you out in the world, he took everything that you can ever have. Mm -hmm. If he takes you out and you get to find yourself lost, you are in the devil's head. Mm -hmm. You were headed into a place called heaven. Sure. You was playing headed into a place of eternal life. Yes. But Satan worked his work. He came in and he began to do the things that he does best. And he began to get into people's minds. Mm -hmm. He began to get into their minds. He began to say, well, so-and-so said this. Well, I don't like so-and-so, but that person there, oh, I don't know about them. What are you here for? What did you come to church for? Come on. What do we come to church for? I come here, I preach. That's why I'm out. I'm a minister. I come here. Because I'm a minister. Mike, you come because you're a minister. You play music. You come because you come to worship God. That's right. We come here to worship God. Amen. But don't you think for one second that Satan is not coming here too? Amen. He is presenting himself. He may not jump up and down and scream and run and something like that. <coughs> But he's going to do something to get to your mind. That's right. Amen. He's going to try to bring you down and pull you down as low as he can. Yes, he is. And then suddenly he's going to put that little thing in your ear. Yep. <coughs> <coughs> and then he gets in your ear. He'll get somebody else that'll correspond with you. Amen. 
You know, I don't like her, though. Well, you don't like me. I don't like her. Well, you know, I don't like her either. Huh? And then, well, well, you know, I heard so and so said they didn't like her. You know what he's doing? He's working his work. He's presenting himself in the church. Not out in the world, he's presenting himself right here in the church. And, well, and if you're not in touch with God, if you're not on fire for God, if you don't understand how God works, He's going to get you. Yep. Yep. Amen. He's going, if you don't have your mind set on going to heaven, yes. you know what He's going to do? He's going to sidetrack you, and He's going to have you talking about the same people, and it's not long until that person is out of church, going down the very way, and lost Amen. without knowing it. I get phone calls. <laughs> and sometimes, sometimes I just, I, 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 I thought about just writing a diary. Yeah. I mean, I have the plain excuses that people feel when I come to church. Mm -hmm. I would go to church to her, but Grandma would be. She died. Well, what are you and Grandma going to do whenever he turns his son? Are you going to be with Grandma? Are you going to be with Grandpa? I don't come because I don't like so and so. <laughs> people, until people get their mind on one thing. Until they get your mind on one thing. The reason that everything was called together. Whenever the sons of God presented themselves before God. I'm going back again. I don't know what the conversation was. I have no earthly idea. It's beyond me to even think what it could be. But there was a reason for that gathering. Yes, it was. God said, I need to talk to my butt, my 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 my, my I need, I need to talk to him about something. Yep. I'm going to tell him there's an atmosphere out there that we're going to have to fight. More than likely he did because, or he might have told him, look, everything is just going perfect in heaven. Everything seems to be going good. But we've got an atmosphere. And in the midst of it, Jesus, looked, uh, God looked back over that all, all the congregation. I don't know how many of them it was. Maybe it was 5,000. And God looked not say. It might have been three. I don't know. But he looked back over the mist and something stuck out. One person. There's one that stuck out. And that one that was sticking out happened to be Lucifer. That's right. <laughs> There he was. He was the most beautiful. There he was, right in the middle of it. The most beautiful angel God created. Now, Satan came there. He didn't just come there to look up Job. He was learning. He said, do what? <laughs> Satan was learning. See, this thing was getting around new to him, too. Hey, man, this thing was getting new, this was new, to, new to Satan. This thing was new and just began. Hey, this was new to him. He needed to know everything. He needed to know it. He was getting smart real quick. Or he needed to learn his lesson was where the people that had sense was. Yes. Where God was. Yes. Where the angels of the Lord was. Where God was. He needed to know everything about them. Yes. So he presented his dad. Mm-hmm. Okay, <coughs> in the middle of it. And God looked at him and said, What are you doing here? Does it, does it read it that way, Mike? Pretty well, it says. What are you doing? What are you doing here? He said, I've been going to and fro. Walking up to the earth. What? 
I said, what are you doing? I hate And I just spit back and hear God say, well, what are you doing there? I want to find something that I can get into. Well, why do you stay there on the earth? I don't got them. I don't got them. I don't have to worry about them. It's you guys. All y'all angels. And you got I got something against you. A lot of people come to church and look for something to talk about. Hallelujah. They do. I'm serious. There's people that come to church, but man, and then they'll go right out the door and they're going to talk about somebody. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes. You know what we need to do? We need to get to the place that we discern the spirit of the devil. And we discern the spirits of God whenever God trying to move in the building and the devil's trying to do it. Then we know who is who and what's for. You know, I find myself so many times saying, God, I need knowledge. I need understanding. I need the wisdom. I need to understand. I need to discern what is going on and how it's going on. Mm -hmm. My goodness. You know where the devil's going to show up? At the altar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On the back seat. Mm -hmm. On the front seat. Yeah. Right in your midst. Mm. We gotta get to the place where we <coughs> devil, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? This is a place of God's. This is a house of God. We'll not let you come into this place and take me like you would like to take the Lord. You're not gonna do it. You're gonna listen to how God wants to work and how God wants to operate. And whenever we do that, God will begin to work in the church like you've never seen before. Get that old spirit out of the church that is there. You know, the other night, God woke me up in the other night, and I, I, I got up and I, I went to the living room and I began to, I began to, uh, to pray and I began to say, God, what, what's wrong? What's wrong about the church? I said, God, you know, I get, I get sometimes I get over anxious. I get, I try to get ahead of myself. And God sat me down in that old recliner and began to speak to me. He began to show me things. And you might not want to hear this, but I'm going to tell you what God showed me. Now y'all say, y'all are going to probably like that when I tell you. There's a church that joins this new church, the old church. Mm -hmm. We all know that. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> Whenever I came here to this church, that old church out there, I hope some of the people on YouTube are hearing this that used to come to that old church. Amen. Now listen to me, and I want you to get smart, okay? Because the devil will present himself in amongst God's people. That's right. Mm -hmm. As I sat there, God began to speak to me. And he began to show me things. And he showed me a spirit that was scary. It was a scary spirit. In my mind, I seen that spirit as it stood before me, and it was a scary spirit. And as I seen it, I began to get feel fear over me. And I said, no, I'm a child of God, Amen. and that spirit cannot come to me. Amen. Amen. And what that spirit was, God showed me that what that spirit was was a spirit of hate. Amen. Amen. Now listen to me. That old church back there was full of that spirit of hate. Yep. I'm telling you, it was full of the spirit of hate like I've never seen before in my life. Yes, but let me tell you something tonight, and listen to, God, to what I'm trying to tell you. That spirit is trying to work itself back into this church, and it's going to, if we don't get our minds on God, and take oh. hope and let the devil yeah. know he's not yeah. welcome yeah. in the congregation of the righteous of God. That spirit is trying to work his way back into this church. I'm telling you right now, if you're not awful careful, he will sneak in and he will put that little thing in your ear and it's not long until it's fertilized and it begins to grow and it gets to the place 
that there's no return. And when it does, he's got you. Amen. And that spirit has got to be rebuked. It's got to be driven and driven out. It cannot come into the congregation of God's people. This is where God's people congregate. Yes. This is where God dedicated for us to come yes. and to come to Him. Amen. This is God's house. Yes. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. yes. This is God's house. Amen. This is where that we take and we worship Him. Amen. This is where we come to reverence God. Amen. Amen. Okay? We come here to reverence God. Right. And when we come into this church to reverence God, we need to have our mind on God. Amen. Amen. We need to have our minds on God. We need to come into the house of worship, <coughs> God's house. Bless you, Lord. Without anything else on our mind except God. That's right. That's right. Yes. Now I'm guilty of this, and I find myself a lot of times, and and, and 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 God forgive me for what I do a lot of times. I make comments in the church that I shouldn't make. Hello. 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 We're all guilty. We come into the church, and we want to talk about everything. We bring the devil in with it. This is the house of God. Amen. 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 I hope I'm getting through to you. Amen. We should come into this house with worship on our mind. You see? Amen. We should come in here if we're not if we're not close to God as we need to be. Right here. It's 25 foot long. Amen. It's dedicated to God. Amen. That's right. Praise the Lord. When we come into this church, we don't need to be telling jokes. We don't need to be talking about our brother or sister. We need to get our minds on God. Amen. You don't know why we need to get our minds on God? Because of what I've been preaching to you tonight, Satan is setting right here. Amen. Satan is setting right here. He's right in the congregation with us. Oh, he's not sitting there sometimes with big old ugly things with horns and a forky tail. You don't have to be that. Real simple. Shirley said something about me. Oh, I heard her say it. It's not long to let baby mushrooms. And when it mushrooms, you know what it does? It hurts this shirt. Amen. Because it's going to get back to it. That little demon's going to make sure it does. Where's he at? He's not out in the world. He's sitting in the congregation. Of God's people, if we let Him, yeah. if we let Him, then it's time that we done something. Amen. It's time that we done something. It's time that we said, "Devil, this is God's house. Right. It's where we come to yes. worship You, yes. and we don't want the devil here." Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 yes. Don't be a joke. Don't be a joke. Hallelujah. Say, I'm going to hold on. Amen. I'm going to hold on to God. Yes, Amen. Satan's not going to come in here. Amen. Hallelujah. It's like I said, he, he, he's already got the world. He don't worry about them. He, he's got them headed down that path. He don't worry about them. He's got them. It's the people that are sitting in the church that's trying to get a hold of God. He's going to come in and try to tear you apart if there's any way possible. Amen. We got work to do. Amen. We're going to start that work. Amen. Yes, Lord. 
Because there's a great something great is fixing to happen. Amen. God told me, said, said something great is fixing to start. It's going to start from right here on this hillside. Amen. I'm telling you, it's fixing to start right here. Amen. Get ready for it. You're going to see things happen here that you never dreamed of. God told me from the very beginning, when there wasn't nothing back there but an old block church, what he was fixing to do. He's done everything he told me he was fixing to do. To this point. Amen. To this point. And I'm going to tell you this. The best is yet to come. Amen. Hallelujah. The best is yet to come. You're going to see a movement of God like you've never seen before. I'm going to tell you why. Because God has tucked up the time. He's shortened the days. You hear me? Mm -hmm. He's shortened the days. He said, unless I shorten the days. Unless I shorten the days. All things will be lost. It's going to get the mess. Mm -hmm. Let's look back over time for 100 years. 100 years ago, they were doing the same thing they were doing 2,000 years ago. A hundred years ago, they were doing exactly the same way that they done two thousand years ago. If they traveled, they were on a horse or a donkey, or they got in a wagon of some sort and moved around the world. But in the last hundred years, in the last hundred years. We have gone to the place that we move from one place to the other in light speed. We have more knowledge. And he said that knowledge will increase. <coughs> person knows what they're doing can take this right here and find out anything you want to find out. From anybody or about anybody. Listen to this. We're just before the coming of the Son of Man. Amen. Amen. Yes. A hundred years we've been best so far. It's unreal. That's right. Time has been shortened. Hallelujah. And Satan is trying to work his work. Yes. Now he, he's got a lot of the church today. He's the most of this about all of us, James. He's just about got all the churches today. He's got it going in his way. But you know, there's a few that's rebels. <laughs> Has to be. There is some that is rebels. See, Jesus was a rebel. Amen. He was a troublemaker. He was a troublemaker. See, we got to get to the place that we're troublemakers. we got to get to the place that we're like Christ. Yeah. Just like Brother Mike was talking today about what he done in that restaurant. Mm -hmm. See, he was a troublemaker. He was out of the ordinary. Mm -hmm. That was out of the ordinary. I didn't know. Yeah, because that manager could have came out and said, Brother, you can't be here. Yeah, you can't do that. Not, 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 that's just like the minute. You can't do anything. But they have that people do. I can't get fired because I do it at work all the time. But see, people, the devil is working in the church. Amen. He's got the church for all the pieces. That's why he's got 120 something different beliefs in the United States. Mm -hmm. 120 something now, probably more than that. Different denominations. And the only reason it got a different denomination is because somebody believes something a little different than the other one did. Mm -hmm. Think about it. It's time to get back to work. There ain't but one plan of salvation. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's where the devil shows up. Yep. That's right. That's where he likes to show up when people that speak and tend preach the cross mm -hmm. and the blood of Jesus Christ. That's why he likes to show up for their 
It will move. Shake things up. Make people get mad at each other over little old things that don't mean nothing. You know, most people that get mad about little old stupid things, they are, they're just looking for an excuse not to go to church anyway. Amen. Most of them just look for an excuse. And somebody, the devil, can give you an excuse to quit. It'll make your head swim. Mm -hmm. Think about it tonight. Let's don't let the devil come in. He's here. He's here. That, that, that spirit of hate, that spirit of hate is still lingering. The only way we can make it leave to be in touch with God. Amen. For us to get in touch with God, we need to get where God is. Amen. Where is God? In His house of worship. Yes. This is God's house. Yes. Amen. Amen. I hope y'all got something out of this tonight. <coughs> Just keep tabs and watch Satan. Don't let him sneak in on you. Because he'll do it. He's not out there. He's out there in the world. He knows what they're doing. But he also knows what you're doing. Amen. And he's going to get to you if there's any way possible. Right. We don't want that to happen, Brother Jamie. We want us to get us to the place that people come in here and the power of God is so great in this place that people can't stand to their feet without being slain into the Spirit of God. Right. You say that can't happen? Yes, it can. We can stack them up like Gordon. Yes, it can. Yes. I hope y'all got some of us something out of this tonight. Amen. But just keep on your toes. Whenever something comes, a little something comes up, and it sounds like somebody's trying to run somebody else down, they don't know. Uh-uh. Satan's trying to put that little wedge in there. Yeah. He's trying to do something that he don't need to be doing. Satan showed himself in the presence of God and the celestial beings. Hallelujah. He's praying. But he don't have to come in like he did then. He'll send some of his old dicks. Daddy, somebody said something about you. You know, I just don't like such a bad dad. You know, I don't like her either. I mean, I'm serious. I'm serious. These little things will tear a church off things. Yeah. People that need stuff from God will get their mind on that and get away from God so quick they'll make your head swim. It's not that they go out here and kill somebody. It's not that they go out here and rob a bank. It's not that they go out here and give somebody a cousin. It's that little bitty thing that hits them in the ear. The little thing. What did, what, did, what did it say? It's not the big foxes that run the vine. It's the little ones. The little ones. The little fox. Why does the little fox run the vine? They're trying to get to the fruit. They can't reach it, so they just eat the vine back. There you go. Just a, that's just the way it is. We need to keep our minds on that. We need to keep our minds on that. May it might be any little fight that Satan can put in, he's going to do it. But we got to be smarter than that. We got to get into this. Right. right here. Amen. This right here. Amen. It'll put Satan in his place. Right. Yeah. All right. Can I finish me that song now? You read my mind. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Yes. <laughs>